Searching for the best point and shoot camera you can buy right now? Good news, I've rounded up all of the best options for you guys to see the most up to date prices and find out more information about these point and shoot cameras. You can check out the links in the description below. First, on the list we have a well-known name, the Panasonic Lumix FZ80. The Panasonic Lumix FZ80, known as the FZ82 outside the US, follows a succession of attractive and feature-packed cameras from Panasonic. It's a small and lightweight all-in-one camera capable of shooting practically any subject you point it at. The Panasonic Lumix FZ80 is a camera with a very long zoom lens. It offers a very wide full-frame equivalent uh, focal range of 20mm to 1200mm, allowing you to frame your shots from a long distance. Its unique 4K photo mode can help you capture images of quick moments a little easier. Also, the camera itself is quite comfortable to use. Unfortunately, its autofocus system can have a hard time tracking subjects, faces in both photography and video. And the image quality can noticeably degrade when shooting in dark environments. Other video features include a snap movie, which records a short clip of between 2 and 8 seconds in a length. With snap movies, you can get up a focus full in advance, tapping the screen to define the start and end focus positions. Which is pretty neat, right? You can also add a monochrome uh, to color fade in or out effect, as well as a simple exposure fade. There are also time lapse and stop motion modes, accessed through the main menus rather than the movie options. The FZ80 has Wi Fi for image transfer and remote control. It works with the Panasonic Image app, a free download for Android and iOS. It lets you copy photos from the camera to your phone for editing and sharing and also offers full manual control and a live feed so you can use your phone as a remote control. The camera uses a proprietary battery, it is backwards compatible and offers 240 shots per charge. Second, for all you content creators out there, we have the Sony ZV-1. The Sony ZV-1 is a 20 megapixel compact camera geared towards vlogging. It has a new and novel directional microphone next to the flash hot shoe and there's a fully articulating touch screen display. The SV-1 shoots in 4K up to 30p and Full HD up to 120p and features a 24 to 70 mm equivalent f1.8 to 2.8 lens. Although the Sony ZV-1 is designed specifically with vloggers in mind, it's quite capable as a uh, conventional compact stills camera too. The ZV-1 also includes a small hand grip, something missing from the RX100 family. I did appreciate it for selfie shots and vlogs though. It's relatively small and light so you can carry it around for days. There's a flip around screen, high quality built-in microphone, stabilization and Sony's uncanny autofocus that keep your face and eyes sharp at all times. The ZV-1 is rich in video features, but what really sells it for vlogging is the continuous autofocus. With 315 phase and uh, 425 contrast detection points, the focus is snappy and dependable, quickly grabbing onto eyes, faces or wherever you've selected via the touch screen. Move up, down, side to side and back to forth, the ZV-1 has no trouble keeping up. This means if you're a vlogger, you can get on with creating without having to worry about focus. The battery life on the ZV-1 can also be a little underwhelming. With uninterrupted, continuous shooting, it can manage around one hour before it bites the dust. Third on the list, Sony making another appearance with the Sony RX100 VII Premium. This is the seventh generation of Sony's high-end point-and-shoot cameras, which generally rank at the top of the category. It's 4 inches wide, 2.3 inches tall, and 1.7 inches thick, so it will easily fit in any jacket pocket, and maybe even some jeans if they're not too skinny. It has a 1-inch, 20.1 megapixel stacked CMOS image sensor, which gathers a lot more light than the tiny sensor on your phone, and it can shoot 4K to up to 30 FPS. There's also a pop-up electronic viewfinder for bright occasions when you can't see the screen. And a pop-up flash for dark scenes when you can't see your subject. Extra important for vloggers, the 3-inch touchscreen on the back can flip up to 180 degrees, making it easy to keep your pretty face in the frame. The RX100 design has barely changed since the start of the series back in 2012. 
and with the exception of some minor cosmetic differences, the Sony RX107 looks identical to the RX106, while the metal body feels just as solid as those of previous models. It's impressive when you consider the raft of features Sony has managed to pack inside that small body, not least that optic. But this also means the same criticisms can be aimed at the new model as were leveled at its predecessors, such as the lack of a grip around the front. RX100, since its debut, this line of cameras has proven a very popular option among enthusiasts looking for a great travel camera, vloggers and even pros who want the compact backup options just in case. The RX107 should suit all those needs very well. With its strong image quality, detailed 4K videos and class-leading performances, the latest addition to the RX100 line still manages to be one of the most capable compacts right now. So cheap that you can't believe it! Fourth, the Canon PowerShot ELPH180. If you're looking for a cheap camera with lots of features like digital zoom, a 20.0 megapixel CCD sensor, and HD video capabilities, the PowerShot ELPH180 is worth a look. It also comes with a memory card slot and has long battery life. The ELPH180 is focused on delivering high quality images for a very budget friendly price. In pursuit of this goal, it does leave out some features like images, uh, image stabilization and wireless connectivity. However, a positive side effect of having a more affordable feature set is that the camera body itself is very small and easy to slip into a pocket. The slim Canon ELPH180 is only 3.7 to 2.1 to 0.9 inches in size and weighs 126 grams with the included battery which gives you enough power for 220 shots. If you're looking to get a bit more from the battery, you can enable the ELPH180's eco mode to preserve and improve battery life. Further, like with the ELPH160, your images will be recorded to an SD card. The Canon PowerShot ELPH180 represents great value. The price is low and it comes in a compact package with excellent build quality. It has everything you could want in a cheap camera such as an 8x optical zoom with an optical image stabilizer. It also has different scenes modes and smart auto settings to get to the best out of your pictures. It also has a different scene modes and smart auto settings to get the best out of your pictures. The PowerShot can also record in 720p video resolution. Nevertheless, it remains a great budget camera. Fifth spot, known as the best waterproof camera, we have the Olympus Tough TG6. The TG6 is a pocketable, ultra rugged camera with a blend of features that will appeal to many different audiences. Everyday shooters and parents who want something that can be dropped or get wet, unlike their smartphone, serious underwater photographers who want to dive deeper and use off-camera flashes, hikers and other outdoorsy folks who want to track their progress and incorporate things like location and altitude into the metadata of their photos. The Olympus Tough TG6 is a company's 6th generation premium underwater camera. It features a 12 megapixel sensor, 4x optical zoom lens, numerous sensors and of course serious protection against the elements. It features a 12 megapixel sensor, 4x optical zoom lens, numerous sensors and of course serious protection against the elements. While it would take a hammer to actually crack it, this screen certainly will pick up marks and scratches, so don't expect the display to stay looking pristine if you're knocking it about. That said, the lens itself seems quite impervious to fingerprints. I can't in good conscience call it a selling point, but it was a breath of fresh air not to have to wipe stray smudges off the lens every time I shot. What really separates the TG6 from its peers is its ability to capture data from its environmental sensors and attach it to photos. Some other rugged cameras have some sensors, but nobody does it better than Olympus. Having GPS data in your photos lets you search for photos by location in software like Lightroom and Apple Photos. The battery is rated for 340 shots by CIPA standards, but I found that you'll get a bit less than that in practice if you utilize the GPS and Wi-Fi features. Alright guys, that's it for today. Thanks for watching. I hope you found this video to be helpful. If you have any questions about the products mentioned in this video, don't hes hesitate to leave a comment down below and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Of course, I'll see you guys on the next video. Until then, peace out.